verse 20. I'm yeah. Austin Sazabit. We are here from Israel United in Christ. This is my reader, Brother Baruch. We are here to teach you the truth of this Bible. That's right. We're here to tell you the truth. We're here to warn y'all because when Christ split that sky, it ain't going to be a happy day. That's right. right. Oh. The book of Exodus, chapter 23, and verse 20. Bring it out. Behold, I send an angel before thee to keep thy in the way, to keep you in the commandments. This is Christ. He's coming to keep you in the commandments. We don't. And to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Uh huh. Beware of him. Be what? Beware of him. Beware. When Christ split that sky, you need to beware. Right. Right. You need to know what's going to happen. Beware. Beware of him and obey his voice. Obey his voice. Obey this Bible. That's right. That's right. Provoke him not. Uh -huh. For he will not pardon your transgression. Christ is going to do what? He will not pardon your transgression. Christ is not going to pardon your transgression when right. he split that sky. Right. It's over for you. That's right. It's time to get it right right now. Right. Give me Jeremiah chapter 44. Bring it verse four. Yeah. It's time to get it right right now. We can't wait no longer. Turn to the ways of God. Let's go. Jeremiah 44 and verse 4. The book of Jeremiah chapter 44 and verse 4. How be it? I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets. So he sent us unto you. We are his servants. We are his prophets here to tell you to keep these commands. We don't. Rising early and sending them. Rising early. We get up early to come out here and teach you this word. Right. To turn away from that sin. Right. We get up early to do this. Say, oh, do not this abominable thing I, that I hate. Stop doing these abominable things. Stop breaking God's law. Right. What are God's laws? Give me that Leviticus chapter 11 verse 3. What are the laws of God that we break, it, that we keep breaking? Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 12. Bring it up. Whatsoever have no fins, whatsoever have no fins nor scales in the waters, thou shalt be an abomination unto you. These are abominations to God. Right. If you're eating shrimp, crab, and lobster, guess what? You're an abomination to God. Right. And you need to get it right before Christ split that sky because he will not pardon your transgression. Right. He's not going to want to hear it. He's not going to hear, oh, I didn't know. Right. Now you know. Right. Now you know you're not supposed to be eating shrimp, crab, and lobster. Stop That's breaking right. the laws right. of God. Right. The book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 11. Uh -huh. Judah hath dealt treacherously, uh -huh. and an abomination is committed in Israel. Here's another abomination that Israelites do right. to this day. Bring it out. And in Jerusalem. Uh -huh. For Judah hath profaned the holiness of the Lord which he loved, uh -huh. and hath married the... Have done what? Hath married uh -huh. the daughter of strange God. We know, we keep marrying these other nations. Right. That's what's getting us to the situation. These things are abominations to God. That's, That's right. right. Stop breaking the laws of God because when Christ lift that sky, he will not pardon your transgression. Right. Uh, He's not going to want to hear excuses. Go back to the Exodus chapter 23 and verse 21. Let's read that again. Let's see if Christ is going to split that sky. Exodus chapter 23 and verse 21. Beware of him. Beware of Christ. When he split that sky, this was going to happen. And obey his voice. Uh -huh. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgression. When he split that sky, he will not pardon you. Right. It's too late. It's time to get it right now. Let's go. Right. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, and verse 25. Bring it up. The graven images of their gods. The graven images of this, of this white Jesus, of that cross. Those graven images, those things are abominable to God. That's right. That's right. Shall ye burn with fire? What you supposed to do with these images if you got them in your house? Burn with fire. Uh huh. Thou shalt not desire the silver or gold. So that silver, that gold, you gotta burn that thing. If you got a cross in your house, get rid of that. That's abominable to God. And when He split that sky, when Christ split that sky, guess what? He ain't gonna wanna hear no excuses. It's gonna be too late. Right. It's gonna be too late. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter seven and verse twenty-five. Uh huh. The graven images, the graven images of their gods shall you burn with fire. Them graven images, that cross, get it out your house. That's right. Stop eating shrimp, crab, and lobster. That's right. right. Stop marrying the other nation. That's right. These things are abominable to That's God. Right. Give me Matthew chapter 10, verse Bring 34. It out. Bring it out. He said it in the New Testament. Bring it out. Matthew 10, 34. Bring it out. This is out of the words of Christ. Matthew chapter 10 and verse 34. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. Think not. That I come to set peace on earth. So when Christ come back, he ain't coming to set peace on earth. Right. right. This is out of his mouth. He's not going to pardon your transgression. What is he going to come back for? I came not to send peace.
with a sword. He came with a sword. When he's coming back, he's coming back with a sword. Right. He's coming back with a sword. So it's time to stop eating shrimp, crab, and lobster. That's right. It's time to stop marrying the other nations. Right. It's time. It's time to get rid of these images. Come out of these Christian churches. That's right. Come out of this Jehovah Witness. That's give right. That, give me that Proverbs 14, 25. You know I got to give it to them. Bring Let's it go. up. It's Bring time it to come out of that. It's Bring time it to stop this Jehovah Witness over right. here. Come on now. Proverbs 14, 25. The book of Proverbs, chapter 14, and verse 25. A true witness delivered. This is a true witness. Delivered its souls. Uh -huh. But a deceitful witness. A deceitful witness. These Jehovah Witnesses are deceitful witnesses. Hey, right. They're a bunch of liars. That's right. It's time right. to come out of this abominations of God. Right. It's an abomination. Because when Christ split that sky, guess what? He ain't going to hear, oh, I was Jehovah Witness. I didn't right. know. Guess what? He told you what a true witness was going to do. That's right. He was going to tell you the right thing and how to live your life. Right. The book of Isaiah, chapter 30 and verse 20. Uh -huh. And thou, and thou, the Lord will give thee and though the Lord give you the bread of adversity. So even though we've been in slavery. Right. Even though we've been through all we've been through. And we didn't know that we had to keep the commandments of God. Go ahead. And the water of affliction. Uh -huh. Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. So yeah, his teachers are here. His teachers are here because what? We teach you the commandments. We teach you to get rid of these images. Right. We teach you to, to turn back to the Levitical dietary law. Right. We teaching you to get rid of those images and to and to do what God told us to do. Exodus chapter 18 verse 20. Uh -huh. And thou shalt teach them ordinances and laws uh -huh. and shalt show them the way where And shalt show them the way. This is the way of God. The ordinance and the commandments of God. Read that again. And thou shalt teach them ordinances and laws uh -huh. and shalt show them the way wherein they must walk. This is the way that y'all have to walk. Right. That's why we are here telling y'all, this is the way that you have to walk. That's right. Stop right. marrying these other nations. Right. That's right. Stop. Come out of Jehovah Witnesses. Right. Come out of the Christian church. That's right. Come out of Catholicism. That's right. Because when Christ lit that sky, he's not going to pardon your transgression. That's it's right. too late. Yeah. It's too late at that point. Let's go. Let's get to uh, let's get to uh, 1 Maccabees Bring it up. chapter 4. Because you got to recognize what you're seeing. You got to recognize what you're seeing right now. You're seeing men of the Lord that are rising up to do what? Come on. 1 Maccabees chapter 4, verse 35. 1 Maccabees chapter 4, verse 35. This is up. how Judah rolled. This is how Judah rolled. Now when Lysias saw his army put to flight, and the manliness of Judah's soldiers. And the what? And the manliness of Judah's soldiers. The manliness of Judah's soldiers. So guess what? These people out here talking all nice and soft and sweet, they ain't from the children of Israel. That's right. They ain't of God because they're supposed to be manly, right. standing up bold like lions. Right. Read that again. The book of 1 Maccabees chapter 4 and verse 35. Uh -huh. Now when Lysias saw his army put to flight and the manliness of Judah's soldiers uh -huh. and how they were ready to either live or die. That's what we out here to do. Right. We out here, we, whether we live or die, we gotta come out here and teach you this word. Right. We gonna come out here and tell you to keep the commandments of God no matter how you feel about it. That's, right. Right. We, that's what we coming out here to get. Give me that Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 10. Bring it up. Whether we live or die, we gonna come out here and stand up manly and bold right. like the men of the Lord. Give me that. Go to uh, Lamentations chapter 5 verse 11. Why do we gotta do that? Lamentations 5 verse 11. It's right in there. Yeah. 5. Bring it up. The book of Lamentations, chapter 5, verse 11. Bring it up. They ravished the women in Zion. This is why we stand in a bowl like lions. Because they ravished our women. They taught us lies. Read on. And the maids in the cities of Judah. Uh -huh. Princes were hanged up. They did what to us? Princes were hanged up. They uh -huh. hung us up. That's why we out here standing up bold like lions. That's why we're telling y'all to turn back to the commandments of God. Right. Because they taught us a bunch of lies. That's right. We have to, we got to recognize when Christ split that sky, it's going to be too late for us. And we got to turn back now. Ezekiel 37 and 10. Bring it up. Ezekiel 37 and verse Ain't 10. No Let's go. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 37 and verse 10. Uh -huh. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them. That's what's happening right now. The breath is coming in us. That's what we're doing. Bring it Keep up. these commandments. That's the breath. Give me that. Give me that breath. Bring First Maccabees 4. I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Baruch 4 and 1. Bring right. the word. Come on. Baruch 4 and 1. Here we go. The book of Baruch, 
chapter 4, verse 1. Bring it up. This is the book of the commandments of God uh -huh. and the law that endureth forever. All they that keep it shall come to life. So if we keep these commandments, we're going to come to life. Yeah, if you turn to the commandments, bro, stop shaving off your bread, throw them in your fridges, you're going to come to life. That's, right. That's what you got to do. Because when Christ with this guy, you, you, you don't have no excuse on it. It's not going to be like, oh, I'm going to let it slide. He's not going to pardon your transgression. That's Give me that. Right. Give me that Exodus chapter 23 and verse 29. Bring it up. Make sure you hear this. Bring hear it this, up. bro. Hear this. Listen to what's going to happen when Christ split the sky. 23 and verse 21. Listen to the Exodus chapter 23. Verse 21. Verse 21. Beware of him. Beware of Christ. And obey his voice. Obey his voice. Obey these commandments. Right. Provoke him not. Uh-huh. For he will not pardon your transgression. He will not pardon your transgression. It's going to be too late when Christ gets it. It's too late. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 37 and verse 10. So I prophesied as he commanded me. And the breath came into them. And they lived and stood upon their feet. An exceeding great army. You see that? You see that? We're going to be a great army, bro. That's right. We're going to be a great army. But the only way we're going to be that army is if we keep these commandments of God. That's it. Do you have a question? You look like you got something in your head. You got nothing. Okay. Let's go to 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 15. Bring it out. 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 15. The book of 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 15. Uh -huh. For so is the will of God, that with well-doing ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. That's what we out here to do, man. To put to silence the foolishness of these ignorant men. That's right. That's out here teaching us these, these lies. Right. That's out here telling us we don't have to keep the commandments of God. Right. That's foolish. Right. That's foolish because when Christ get back, it's too late. Now it's time. Jump right. to 3, verse 15. Bring it out! Uh -huh. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 3, verse 15. Uh -huh. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts uh -huh. and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks it. That's what we out here to do, man. Right. We are here ready to give you guys the answers. That's right. Whatever questions y'all got in y'all heads, we here to answer. Right. That's what we here for. What? You got a question, brother? What about you? Nobody got nothing. Go ahead. Um, I just need to go over uh, Jaffin. Because every single thing that Jaffin is so-called white. Uh-huh. I don't believe Esau is white. Okay. So, I just... so we got to figure out who's Esau. All right. So let's do that. Let's do that. Let's jump to uh, let's jump to uh, Genesis 25, 25. Let's we'll start right there. Genesis 25, 25. Let's we'll start right there. The book of Genesis, chapter 25, verse 25. Uh -huh. And the first came out red all over. Like so, so the so-called white man is really red, right. right? That's what we gotta understand first of all. Go ahead. For the first came out red all over like an hairy garment, uh -huh. and they called his name Esau. They called his name Esau. So they called his name Esau because he had lack of pigmentation. He was he 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 had no no melanin in the skin, right? right. Read on. And after that came his brother out, uh -huh. and his hand took hold on Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. Now his name was called Jacob, and his hand took hold of Esau's heel. Did we hear anything about what he looked like? Why didn't we hear anything about what he looked like? Give me that Genesis, Genesis uh, two, two verse eight. Bring it up! Bring it up! Give me that. Why didn't we hear that? Why didn't we hear what Jacob looked like? Let's figure it out. The book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Why didn't we hear what Jacob looked like? Because man was formed of the dust of the ground. Because everybody else was dark skinned at that time. Right. Right? Go back. The book of Genesis, chapter 25, verse 30. Uh -huh. And Esau said to Jacob, feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage. With that same red pottage. Pottage. Who got the Zondervan Bible Dictionary? Get that ready for me. With the same red pottage. For I am faith. Therefore was his name called Edom. Edom. His name was called Edom. Why was his name called Edom? That means what? Let's read it out the, out the dictionary. The word Edom means red. Is it right to say that our brother is our enemy? Is it right to say that our brother is our enemy? Right, because if he's his brother, he's all, you know. No, 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 go back to Genesis 25, verse 25. 25, and jump up to right here, where it says two nations in that verse. The book of Genesis, chapter 25, verse 23. Uh -huh. And the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb. So two nations, they didn't say two brothers, said two nations, go ahead. 
and two manner of people. Two different types of people are in her womb. Shall be separated. Shall be what? Separated. We supposed to be separated. We not supposed to be dwelling together like brothers. It says right. we're right. two different nations and we supposed to be separated. That's right. The, no, this is this is this is the the foremother. This is the the wife of Isaac, right? Her name was uh, Rebecca. This is the foremother Rebecca, right? You got that for me? Let's go. Edom. Edom uh -huh. figures prominently in the prophetic scriptures uh -huh. as the scene of great future judgment. The scene of great future judgment. She is the only neighbor of the Israelites who was not given any promise of mercy from God. You see that? So they was given no promise of mercy of God. Go back to the beginning of that. Don't say Edom Greek. Edomites. Yeah. That's, that's it. Edomites. Uh -huh. The nation and its people who were the descendants of Esau. Uh -huh. He founded the country, so his name is equated with Edom. Uh -huh. Yep. The Edomites were also subject to Babylon. Uh -huh. Under the Persian Empire, uh -huh. Edom became a province called Idumia. Edom became a province called Idumia. Idumia is the Greek word for Edom. Right. Edom. The Greek form of Edom. It's the what? The Greek form of Edom. So like he read earlier in Joel chapter 2, I mean Joel chapter 3, that the Israelites were sold to the Grecians. Who was what? The Edomites. The same group of people go back to Genesis 25. I mean 27. Let's go to Genesis 27. Bring it out. Cause we're trying to figure out who the Edomites are. Yep. Let's say they. they uh, yep. And Isaac, yep. The book of Genesis, chapter 27, verse 39. Uh -huh. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. The dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. He's talking about the Edomites. Go ahead. And of the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword shalt thou live. So how do the so-called Edomites this, this country live to this day? By, by, by weapons of warfare, right? They go out and fight all the time. Go back to uh, Genesis 25. Because I want that where they hunt. Genesis 25. Okay. Genesis 25, verse 27. This is, this is more about Edom or Esau. And the boys grew. Uh -huh. And Esau was a cunning hunter. Esau was a what? Pay attention. Esau was a what? Esau was a cunning hunter. Now, who like to go out and hunt to this day? Go up. out deer hunting, go out rabbit hunting. That's that's the Edomites, right? That's the Edomites to this day, right? Let's jump over to uh, Malachi. Nope, give me a uh, Obadiah. Bring it out. Give me a Obadiah. Bring it out. Come on, Obadiah. Small. There you go. All right, let's jump down to. Make this one. I plot there. Yep. The book of Obadiah, verse 3. Uh -huh. The pride of thine heart. Hath now, now it say the pride of thy heart. Now you got to recognize with this country that they are a proud country. Right? They're the proudest country in the world. Proud to be American. They, they say that all the time. Real. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. Uh -huh. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. They did what? They dwelt in the clefts of the rock. Now what does the word Caucasian mean? What does that mean? That's a mountain range. That's a mountain range between Europe and Asia. It's called the Caucasus Mountains of Georgia, Russia. Right. That's a mountain range. Right. If you look up the word continent, I was looking this up the other day. If you look up the word continent, you got all these great land masses. Africa, you got Antarctica, South America, North America. But when you look at Europe, why is that a continent? Why? It's a, it's a mountain range right there. Right. The Caucasus Mountains. That's why it's a continent. It's a mountain range right there. Therefore, they identified their area as a continent, even though it's a small place. Right. Freedom. Right. Whose habitation is high. Because they dwelt in the mountains. Right. That saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Now, what other country on the planet can say that? Who shall bring me down to the ground? Nobody else can say that. They right. can drop bombs on anybody, anywhere, anytime. Right. Go ahead. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. Though thou exalt thyself as what? As the eagle. You see that? They exalt themselves as the eagle. Who does that? Who Bring it out. That's Esau. Right. That's the Edomites. Bring it out. Go ahead. And though, thy, though thou set thy nest among the stars. Now they set their nest among the stars. Who did that? The, they did it when? When they landed on the moon, what did they say? The eagle has landed. So who is this talking about? This is talking about the so-called white man. They're the Edomites. That's who they are. Give me that uh, Malachi chapter 1, verse 4. Malachi 1 and 4. Come on. 
the book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 4. Uh -huh. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished. So this was during the time, as we know, of the Dark Ages. They was impoverished, right? Go ahead. But we will return and build the desolate places. So they returned and built the desolate places. What's that time called? The Renaissance. God is giving you all this history in one verse. They went from the Dark Ages to the Renaissance in one verse. Pay attention. Thus said the Lord of hosts, uh -huh. they shall build. They shall build. They built what? This country, right? They built the European Union. They built NATO. They built all these things. Read on. But I will throw down. They going to build, but God is going to throw all of this stuff down. Oh, right. That's the prophecy that's, that's bound to happen to Edom. Read on. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. They going to call Edom the border of wickedness. It's nothing good of that, about that nation. Nothing good about it. Did you ask something over there, brother? That was you. You. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. And the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. 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 It's no salvation for Esau, just like we read out of the uh, Zodavan Bible Dictionary. It's not going to happen for him. That makes sense? You got something, bro? All right. Let's jump back to it. Jump back to that uh, Ezekiel 37.10. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, verse 10. Uh -huh. So I prophesied as he commanded me, uh -huh. and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood upon their feet, an exceeding great army. An exceeding great army. That's what we out here to do, man, to build this army. Because the sky is going down. Jump to that, uh, jump to that uh, Ezekiel 34, 31. 34, 31. Bring it out! Come on. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 34, verse 31. Uh -huh. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men. So this army is going to be an army of men. Right. Hey. This army is going to be an army of men that's going to keep the commandments of God. That's right. That's what we're here to do. Right. That's what we're here to get you ready to right. do. I need you to turn to the walk, to the laws of God. Okay, I got a question. Yes, sir. Go ahead. So let's say, I was asking um, the other brother uh, earlier, uh -huh. the people who don't know the laws of the uh, Ten Commandments, I mean, not Ten Commandments, but the laws, uh -huh. And they passed away. Like, I'm just thinking about my great grandmother. She was a Christian. All right, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go way too deep, but I'm gonna try to keep it real simple for you. Okay. I'm gonna try to keep it real simple for you. All right, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Go to Ecclesiastes chapter one and verse ten. Real simple. Pay attention. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter one. Verse 10, is there anything whereof it may be said, see, this is new. Is there anything that may be said, see, this is new? What is anything? Anything. So what is it? Everything. So what did you just ask? What was the question again? Are you new? Are you new? I guess not. Okay. You just said anything and everything. So you got to recognize that. You gotta recognize this. This is a cycle. We've been in, we was in slavery for 400 years. Where? In Egypt. Then we went to slavery again to Babylon. Then we went to slavery again to the Persians and Medes. Then we went to slavery again over here in America. Give me that uh, Deuteronomy chapter uh, one and one. Bring it out. Uh, Deuteronomy one and one. Give it to me. The book of Deuteronomy chapter one verse one. These be the words which Moses spake. Unto all Israel. Unto who? Unto all Israel. Unto all Israel. All right? You understand that? You sure? Matthew 19, 28. One more. Listen to the word. Simple. simple. All right? Do you Are you getting the thought? Yeah. Okay. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 28. And Jesus said unto them, Verily, I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration. They did what? Follow me in the regeneration. Understand that. Understand that. There is nothing new under the sun. Nothing new. All right? You got something? Y'all good? All right, let's get back to it. I got a question. Okay. About the, uh, the clothing. Uh, it's supposed to be 100%. Does that include the fringes and the ribbon? It's supposed to be all one material? The understanding of that. To the, to the best of your ability. Yeah, all you can do is your best, man. Give me that judges. Give me that judges. Or say, uh, 
rehearse the righteous acts. Judges 5-11. Judges 5-11. Bring it out! The book of Judges, chapter 5, verse 11. Bring it out! They that are delivered from the noise of archers uh -huh. in the places of drawing water, uh -huh. there shalt thou rehearse the righteous acts. All we can do is our best, brother. That's all we can do. All you can do is your best. So at the end of the day, I mean, it's going to be a last year collar, buttons on. I mean, all you can do is your best. I'm not, I'm not giving you an excuse to sin, but all you can do is your best. You follow me? That's all you can do, all right? Let's jump back to it, man. Let's go to Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2, because the Lord is building an army for this thing. That's right. Let's go back. Bring it up. Joel chapter 2, verse 1. The book of Joel chapter 2, verse 1. Uh -huh. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, uh -huh. and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. So that's what we out here doing. We blowing this trumpet. We blowing this trumpet to tell y'all men to turn back to the laws of God. That's right. Because when Christ went this guy, it's too late. He's not going to pardon your transgressions. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.